What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastas and welcome to today's video boys. Today we're back on Rust after a good, well deserved month and a half break. I saw that this new update came out and I just had to play it. Uh, so this is me getting unwashed and just overall having a, an amazing wipe. We got raided day 3 and that's why I'm making this video right now. Uh, we started on force wipe so this last Thursday. But yeah, I'm just super excited to make this content for y'all since I know it's been a long while since I made a video. But yeah, I hope we all will enjoy this as much as I did making it. And now sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Now, being an hour late into Force Wipe because my internet was having issues with the update for Rust, my teammate had still made progress, but not that much. He built in a very, very populated area, and it was just overall not a good starter base location, especially for this early in wipe. So we moved to the bottom left of the map and set up our base swiftly. Yeah, and like no nodes at all. Oh wait, actually, there's, I see one, maybe a stone. I'm just gonna get a TC down over here. Yeah, dude, oh, that's why there's literally, you almost here? I see three. I see oh yeah, yeah, nodes are good, bro. Nodes are so nice. And there's already. A oh, that's fine. Going towards the road. They're not going over here though. With making quick progress with the nodes and trees in my area, it was safe to say I was making swift progress for right now, and it was overall looking pretty peaceful. And after five minutes of farming and getting progress done, my teammate had finally arrived. Gotcha. Why did you? Now with the base down and a safe place to put my loot, I decided to farm every node in my area. Whilst in the process of farming, my teammate had said there was a kid with an ice pick right below the hill, so I had to go check it out. I'm shooting at him right now. Should go fight him. Yes. He ran out of arrows, I think. Go after him. Go after him. I'm loaded right now. Oh my gosh. Where are you, bro? Hit him. Headshot dead. Killed him. He had ice pick. Now this ice pick would come in big, big handy when it comes to farming these nodes in my area and just overall getting huge progression done. Can I destroy it yet still? Hold on. Kid right here. I'm dead too, bro. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? looting bro rock him rock him rock him rock him hit a shot him hit him one hp throw your rock throw your rock 
After dying being 1 HP bleeding, my teammate had actually managed to kill the guy with the rock, and furthermore decided to move our base away from the river more so we could have space for a compound and just more building space. But while building, he told me to come towards him, and he DC'd. Now he would have to wait through an 83 player queue, and it would be about an hour before he could even reach the server. So it was time for me to get to grinding. Apparently not the power to stay in the game, huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm PvP. Killed him. I have a gun. Okay, there's a five man over here. I just, I don't like outers. Such a pain, pain in the butt to build, bro. Going down a little bit. That's good. Yeah. And after getting my first few furnaces down, it was safe to say I was doing pretty well. After seeing that oil rig had gone down for the first time of the entire wipe, and also getting metal doors on my base, I felt it was safe to take a two-way trip, oil rig and back. Now I'll save you all the pain of watching this since I did have the bow glitch. I don't know why this glitch isn't fixed yet, uh, it's been in the game for about 3 months now and really really needs to be fixed, uh, I guess the developers just don't care anymore. But yeah, I managed to get an airdrop and a ton of components and later we would call in that airdrop for some big loot. After re-logging because of the boat glitch, it took me about an hour to get back into the server and by the time I got back into the server, my teammate had found a revolver, researched it, and crafted about five. So I took to the ocean and saw that cargo had spawned and went straight there.
After managing to score a SAR and a Tommy on the second cargo of Wipe, it was safe to say being 25 HP was not ideal. So I decided to jump off cargo and make a swim for it. Alright. Oh my gosh, dude. Beautiful. And after retrieving all my loot from cargo, I decided to pack up all my comps and go over to the lighthouse to go recycle. After that quick recycle run, I didn't have near enough scrap to make a tier 2 or research the Tommy, so I decided to upgrade my base instead. And after building up my base to the second story, I decided to go on a little bit of a roam. I didn't really see anybody, but I got a ton of scrap. If y'all didn't know, launch site is insane even if you don't have key cards. I got over 300 scrap just from running the brown crates, and that's without recycling. Oh my gosh. Sweet. Tommy, day one, four swipe. After managing to craft three Tommies, I saw this wood base right next to ours, so I had to evict them. And as the night was coming to a close, I decided to do one more farm trip to end off my day one of four swipe. And to end off a successful day one, I organized my boxes and then I fell to sleep. After seeing that Bradley had been taken on the map, I decided to investigate with the newfound custom that I had just gotten.
know, go ahead and save you all the pain of watching this. I do have one of the worst internets in the entire world. So, uh, yeah, I almost DC'd, but it was just a huge lag spike. About a three minute lag spike and this happened. But after regrouping, I decided to go back out, and I found this guy. Having it being 16 hours into Foresight, I hadn't even had cards yet. So that's exactly what I set out to do, to require the Holy Grail, the red card. Now with acquiring a red card and a blue card, and my teammate conveniently getting on as soon as I get that, we went straight over to the small oil rig. Bum rush up here. Large furnace. Let's get started. One more. With no good heavy loot and no counters on a hundred pop server, the only thing we could look forward to was the Chinook crate. Move! I need to loot it! Rocket! Whilst farming for our base after oil, we met our newly found neighbors. Rare. One HP. Oh my gosh, I got deleted. Where? Hit twice. I'm 21 HP. After this devastating loss, I hopped off for about an hour, got back on, and I instantly went on a farm trip, farmed a whole bunch, and expanded the base. I'm not going to add any more of the building stuff, but I will leave the base design in the comments. Uh, if you want to go check it out, it's called the Nugget. Uh, it's spelt like a chicken nugget, but uh, it's really, really good, and it's only good for online. It's really, really uh, not really suitable for offlines, as you'll see. And finally, with it being more than 18 hours into Force Wipe, the base was complete. After a good while later, I decided to go take Cargo solo, since both my teammates were AFK. And during this clip, I do something very, very questionable, but it was in the heat of the moment, and it was my only resort, in my opinion, since there was a huge group coming on.
Now after killing all the scientists and getting all the little bulls, I decided to go AFK for maybe 10 seconds. And this happened. Now, with me being laggy, a solo on cargo, and them already being on, I think it's safe to say I had a free outing on this. After successfully getting the cargo loot home, I decided to mess with those neighbors we died to earlier in the video. And they were online and they weren't happy. Now just barely making it out alive, I was pretty well off. They gave me over a row of frags and 3k sulfur. That was huge for where I was at at the time, since I was basically solo. Now with all the farming for the base and stealing from compounds, I built up a quite a bit of sulfur. So we decided to raid this 2x1 that built up overnight, as well as a 1x1 that I thought would be pretty loaded. Don't use it all, just in case. Oh yeah, it's a double door, it costs less. Yeah, yeah relax, relax, relax. Yeah, see? Yeah. Ow. 
profit, 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 profit. Two hundred scrap. All right, all right. We're gonna get countered. See, load him. Oh, M nine. After raiding these two bases at that one by one raid, I saw that these kids were smelting sulfur and metal, and their furnaces had just turned off. So I decided to go take a look, and it turned out to be super profitable. There we go. Alright, yellow. That's good. Oh, hey, a little bit of metal. Ouch. 1.4K metal frags. Oh my gosh, bro, it's loaded. Yeah. Aw, oh, dude. Now, I may have died, but my teammate managed to get in and steal about two rows of sulfur, and I managed to grab my loot back as well. How do I get out of here? Oh, right here. They're in here. Hide. He's seeing me. He's done. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm out. There's a ladder. Ladder on my side. Ladder on my side. Mark's over here. You got to parkour up to it. Hurry. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Other way, other way. Stealing a whole bunch of that clan's loot, we actually went over to Oil Rig, or I went over to Oil Rig, and grubbed it. Hold up, comps, comps. One dead.
Oh my gosh, loaded. Yeah, all dead. Crate was awful, okay. Now at this point I got a boat glitch, so I'll just give a rundown on the situation. There's two people that just rolled up on a boat and my teammates are about to roll up as well. So it's about to go down. Keep shooting that kid. Keep shooting that kid on the boats. Roll up, roll up on the side of the boat and shoot at him. He's still netting. Another one in the water. Watch out. Laser him. One HP, one HP. Nice! Alright, let's get out of here. Loot and dip, loot and dip. Do you have anybody? And from killing those kids, this is what we got. And then. Okay, grab it all, grab it all. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see it. Just grab it. After this oil run, my teammates logged off, and I decided to go on a little bit of a roam. Alright boys, unfortunately that is the end of the video. We got offline by the group we stole oil from and the group we stole that metal and silver from. They both allied and they dual rated us. They got profit as well. They stole about a box of sulfur off of us, which is unfortunate, but they couldn't have done it online because, you know, they would have lost. But that is the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, yeah. Just do all that. Uh, just know I'm here now. I'm going to be posting weekly uploads uh, since I am back. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video, boys. Peace.